Hey everybody, this is Maurice back with another video on the shelf. Today I'm starting a new series on Cradle with Groovy as a programming language. So this is the first video of the series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Gradle on your Mac, how to set up Groovy, and how do we create a new Groovy project using Gradle CLI. And then we will move to learning Gradle CLI. We will learn how to build binaries for a Groovy project. And once we build our project, we will learn how we run it on the computer. So this is like a full walkthrough of setting up a project, building a project, and a running a project on your computer. So Gradle is a great build tool. And I'm going to show you how you can use Groovy Gradle together to build an application. So what are the prerequisites to set up Gradle and Groovy? So you need a text editor, something like IntelliJ or you can use a real studio code as well. You also need a Java JDK, like you can install a DOP open JDK as well, and then you need the latest version of Gradle distribution. So let me walk you through how you install all this. I'm gonna take you to the website. This is sdkman.io slash install. Here, all you gotta do is just copy this line, go to your terminal, and here, simply paste that. What it's going to do, it's going to install SDK CLI. And using SDK CLI, you can basically install Java, you can install Gradle, you can install Groovy. To verify that SDK is installed on your Mac, you can just type SDK version. And here you can see we got version 5.12.4 at the time of this recording. That's the latest version. So to be able to install Java with that, you can go to their website. And here we got the JDK. Click on that, and then here you got the JDK distribution. So we got Open JDK. We have all the other JDK distributions available here. So it depends what you need. What I would like to install is Open JDK. Click on Open JDK, and here is Oracle Open JDK. So here's a command for that: SDK install Java, and then you specify the version and dash open. Okay. Let's go to the terminal, and I'm going to use the command SDK list and then java enter and here it'll show you the list available for java and here we got this open jdk that we can use so right now it's 15.0.1 dash open that's it's saying basically it is installed locally on the machine but you can find out the version that you need and then just use the command so let's type sdk install java and a version would be let's say 11.0.1 open. Okay, it will install Java 11. That simple. Now you can also install Gradle on Groovy using SDK. So let me take you to Chrome and click on SDKs. Here you will find Gradle and you also have Groovy. Very simple. So first try to install Groovy. So the command for that is SDK install Groovy. Go to terminal, type SDK install Groovy and you will have a Groovy installed. Okay, I'm going to check the version for Groovy. I've already installed that, so version is 3.0.9. We're going to need Gradle, so let's go back to Chrome, and we're going to click on Gradle, and here's a command for that. Let's go back to Terminal. I'm going to use SDK list Gradle. I want to check the versions available. So what we have is the latest version 7.2, here it's showing me the local version as well. So let's go and try installing SDK install Gradle. Enter. And you should say I already have the latest version of Gradle installed, like you can see here. I'm going to type Gradle space dash V. And you can see we got the Gradle version 7.2. Now, it's good. Now, let's go and generate a Groovy project using Gradle command line tools. Okay, so in terminal, all you gotta do is use Gradle init command. It's gonna ask you a few options. So what we're trying to do is generate application. So the option for that is going to be to enter that. And now it's going to ask you to select the language. Right now you can see it can work with C++, Groovy, Java, Kotlin, Scala, and Swift. I'll create separate videos for each of the language later. And right now we worry about Groovy. So press 2, enter. 
And now I'm going to just press one because I don't need to add any library projects. So I just need one application using Groovy. Enter and then build script. Press one for Groovy. Enter. And then I'm going to name the project as Riddle Tutorial. Leave that as default for a source package. And there you go. You have your project running. So I'm going to basically type code dot to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. You can also use uh, IntelliJ for this, which is really recommended IDE for Gradle, Groovy, and Java as well. But here we have a project. One thing you need to do is install Gradle extension in VS Code if you're using VS Code for that. So I have this Gradle task by Microsoft. And once you have that installed, you can click on this icon here, and then here you will see the task. Right now, we're trying to build an application, right? So what I'm going to do is go to App, go to Task, and then go to Build, and I'm going to simply click on Build. Click on Play, and this is going to run this command, this app, colon Build, and this is going to execute the file for us. Now, once the project is built, then we can go to App, click on Build, Go to distribution and here you have a project running. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go open in terminal. Actually, not in terminal, we can open that in Finder. All right, in the distribution folder, you're going to find this tar file or zip file. I'm going to expand the zip file. We go inside this and here you have this binary for your project. Right now, our project was basically as simple as Hello World application. So if we go to app, source, main, Groovy, and app.groovy file, and here it's basically returning a string, Hello World. Okay, so it's a command line application, but it's basically at this stage, it's running fully without any installation like Java or Groovy anything. So if you double click on this, it's going to execute that. And you can see the result, hello world. Okay, so we've successfully created a new project using Gradle Groovy and then created a build and then ran the build. Okay, so it's up to you now how you can write the application and what do you want to do with the Groovy as your command line application and build it. And then you can share that the binding file to anybody. It will run on Windows, Linux, and Mac. I hope that helped, and I'll be creating a lot more Grail tutorials. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.